Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Stone Depth Charge Double Bastard. So they are taking Double Bastard and they are brewing this version with espresso beans. Really looking forward to this one. At time of recording, this is only three weeks old. So still pretty damn fresh. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, that's nice. Up front, I'm getting a lot of coffee, like this really nice kind of roasted coffee bean. Definitely kind of some espresso notes in there, just really, really coffee forward. Getting some chocolatey note in there, too, which is interesting. I'm also getting a fair amount of the malt, just kind of caramel, toffee, a little bit of a breading note. Underneath that, I'm definitely getting some of the hop character. There's like some orange peel, definitely citrusy notes. Light bit of pine, a little bit of a floral hop component. But yeah, mostly it's coffee, it's chocolate, it just smells really rich, smells really, really nice. Yeah, digging this so far, let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is really coffee forward. Just like in the nose, up front I'm getting a lot of like this freshly roasted coffee beans, espresso notes, just lots and lots of different kinds of layers of coffee in this one. Yeah, that's really nice. Second sip, I'm getting more of these chocolate notes. It's kind of a cross between bittersweet dark chocolate and this kind of creamier, sweeter milk chocolate note. Really, really nice. So, definitely getting big sweet malts too. Coffee, or toffee, caramel, lots and lots of it too. But there's a nice kind of hoppy background to this as well. Like there's definitely a citrus blast on the back end orange peel, maybe a little bit of grapefruit in there as well. There's definitely this kind of piney note in there as well. A little bit of like that, yeah, piney grassy hop notes, a little bit of a floral component, lots and lots of citrus though on the back end. Finish is pretty dry, I mean, it's definitely still a big, bitter beer, just like regular Double Bastard is, but it's really, really interesting because the coffee is such a big note that it's kind of downplayed some of the, the hoppier notes that you usually get from just regular Double Bastard. At the same time, you're still getting that big, aggressive, kind of sweeter, toffee, caramel, malt bill, but... This is really, really nice. It's medium bodied. It's got a slightly creamy kind of mouthfeel to it as well. And again, decent amount of bitterness, which I like because it kind of keeps everything in check for sure. Because there's a big malt backbone to this. Again, toffee, caramel, really nice like chocolate and coffee notes too though. I mean, there's just a lot going on in here. I really, really dig this version. And for being 11%, this is pretty smooth. Can't taste it. I don't really feel it. I get a little bit of warmth as it goes down, but for 11%, they're hiding the alcohol pretty well. So, very nice stuff. Again, if you guys like coffee, if you like regular Double Bastard, I think this is a beer you have to check out. In terms of rating, I'm going with a 9.3 out of 10. I'm really, really digging this new version of Double Bastard. That coffee just adds some really nice espresso, freshly ground coffee notes. That chocolate note kind of came out of nowhere, really surprised me, but I like it. And again, it just mixes well with the big malt backbone, the floral, piney, grassy, citrusy hop notes are a little bit more downplayed, so it's a little bit more of a malty beast compared to regular Double Bastard, but it's a really cool version. Stone usually knows what they're doing when it comes to coffee beers, you know, the Espresso IRS and Dayman from years back. Awesome beers. This is no exception. If you like coffee, go check this one out. All right, guys, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.